This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Hello, and welcome to an interactive introduction to MATLAB. This screencast will walk you through the solutions to exercise 3, which was about simple 2D plotting. Question 1 asks us to plot the following functions. For each of these functions, we also have to decide on a suitable range for x, depending on the function that we are plotting. The first function is y equals 1 over x. We'll define x with a range of minus 10 to 10 in steps of 1. Then we'll define y, which as I said is 1 over x. Not forgetting the dot operator because x is a vector. We're asked to plot this function with a blue dashed line and of course label the axes and give it a title. In these examples I will do most of this from the command line but of course you can open the figure and do all this interactively if you prefer. We plot x against y using the plot command. With the grid on the axes labelled and a title, also not forgetting that we need to plot this with a blue dashed line. We see a graph of y equals 1 divided by x. We'll save these figures using the matlab.figure extension, which means that we can come back to them at any point and make alterations if need be. Between questions, we need to make sure that we clear the command window with the clear all and the CLC commands. The second plot in question 1 is a sine and cosine plot, so we'll start by defining x as a linspace function, starting at 0 to 2 pi, and this will be done in 25 steps. y is simply sin x dot times cos x. Using the up arrow, I can retrieve the plot command from the last question. I'll just change the title. And the question also tells us to plot the graph using a red dotted line. So we also need to make this change to that notation. We can then save our new plot with the title question 1b. Again, we clear the command window and workspace. The final plot is a quadratic function. So x is defined as ranging from minus 10 in steps of 1 to 10. and y equals 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 1. Again, using the up arrow, we make the necessary changes to the plotting command. And the question asks for it to be plotted with red cross markers. We then save the plot as question 1c. Clear the command window and workspace again, and we move on to the next question. Question 2. Given the following function s, plot s as a function of angle phi when a is 1, b is 1.5, and c is 0 0.3, and phi ranges between 0 and 360 degrees. We define phi first, ranging from 0 to 360. You'll notice I missed the step size here, and if you miss the step size when you're defining a range, MATLAB simply assumes that you want a step size of 1. We now define our constants. a equal to 1, 
B equal to 1.5 and C equal to 0 0.3. Now we define s, and because we've defined phi in degrees, we'll use the d version of the trigonometric functions to take degrees as an argument instead of radians. So s equals a times cos d phi plus the square root of b squared minus a times sine d phi minus c squared. Using the up arrow to get our plot command, we'll plot this function using a red solid line and again change the title. We also need to remember to change what is to be plot. It is no longer x against y, but phi against s. We save this plot as question 2, clear the command window and workspace, and move on to question 3. Question 3 is all about plotting parametric functions, and we're told that we'll need to use the access equal command. This gives the tick marks on the x and y axis the same spacing. The first part of 3 is to plot a circle of radius 5 we set the radius of our circle first. We'll define theta using the lin space function. The formula for a circle is x equals r times cos theta and y equals r times sine theta. Going to the command history window and dragging out the plot command with x and y, we edit the title and can change the plot so it shows a blue line. We save this as question 3a and enter the clear commands again. In a similar fashion, we are asked to plot a lemon skate. This time, phi ranges from minus pi over 4 to pi over 4. It's up to you how many steps you use when you're plotting. The less steps you use, the coarser the plot will be. Deciding on an appropriate value can often be a case of experimentation. Defining x and y as x equal to cos phi dot times the square root of 2 cos 2 phi. And y equal to sine phi dot times the square root of 2 cos 2 phi. After altering the plot command again, you can see we get a plot of a lemon skate. We save the plot, question 3b, and input the clear commands. Question 3, part c, is to plot a logarithmic spiral. Phi ranges from 0 to 6 pi. K equals a constant of 0.1. And now I can define my x and y. This returns a plot of a logarithmic spiral. From this plot, you can see that I might not have chosen enough values for phi because the plot is a little rough. What we can do is close the figure and find my definition of phi in my command history. Dragging it back to the command window and changing the steps from 50 to 100. I'll also need to redefine x and y now that I have more values of phi. 
I can double click X and double click Y. And finally, double click our plot command. You'll see that the plot returns with a smoother logarithmic spiral. We'll now save this last example as question 3C. And that's the end of the solutions for exercise 3. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.